Welcome back to another edition of the Lucas Oil Online Race Report. Craig Hoffman, racing expert Leslie Mears is here. And That's right. Scott I'm, I'm Douglas just hanging is, out. <laughs> Scott Douglas is along for the ride. Hey, Leslie Mears, uh, one of Scott's uh, co-workers with Monster Jam and the Lucas Oil uh, Truck and Tractor Polling Series. Uh, Pro Polling League. Pro Polling League. Let's get it right. right. Now. It, 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 it's, it's Lucas Oil. It's made in America. Sold to the world. See, I, I, I'm losing the job here, folks. Hey, before we talk Monster Jam and Lucas Oil, let's talk Atlanta this weekend. Coming up in NASCAR Sprint Cup, this is a mile and a half track. Speeds will get up here, Scott. 190, 195. All right, you know the most interesting thing to me about this is to see what's going on with, with Speedway Motorsports. They're working their tails off, so getting people back in these seats. Atlanta has not sold well in recent years. Let's see if they can start, because NASCAR wants more people, and they're trying to do things to get the ratings back up. But the racing here is always outstanding. There's a battle between Edwards and Little E, and then the cars start yep. going every which way. That's uh, Labonte from last year. Yep. Leslie, what do you Fortune. think about Atlanta? Going to be a good race? It should be a great race with those excellent speeds out there, 190, 195 miles an yep. hour. You know, if those guys get packed up really tight together, you're going to see a lot of action, a lot of drafting going on there. There's there moments out there. Hey, we have a poll right here, which we're getting a lot of great votes in. Who's Can Jimmy Johnson win a fifth consecutive championship as of last count? 67%. This is going to change about every time you come on and vote. Leslie, why can't he win five in a row? I think he can do it. You know, he's got a he's got a great relationship with his crew chief there. They work hard in the off season. You know, I don't know if anybody else has seen it, but on HBO they've got that new series now about him chasing down the yeah. race this year. Mm -hmm. And you know, the commitment from that team is really strong. And so that commitment usually ends up in victories and championships. Tulsa White beats him. He's the champ. Okay. Hey, our racing expert said this, our cub racing expert adds that. Cub? Hey, <laughs> we, we, we have a giveaway. All you have to do is email us, racing at WBKI.TV, racing at WBKI.TV. Next week on the Lucas Oil Online Race Report, we're going to show it to you. It's a signed Kevin Harvick uh, sunglass visor. It's signed by Kevin Harvick, number 29. We're going to give it to you, but you got to register. Racing at WBKI.TV. We're going to have that coming up. Now, I have to defer on this segment to the uh, Monster Jam announcer one, Monster Jam, Jam announcer two, and did I get it all right? The Lucas Oil Pro, Pro Polling League. 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 That's right. right. I, but they, they, the trucks and, and all that, you all announce it. Uh, you don't announce it. Well, you, you, you guys do yeah. some of the old school tractors too, don't you? Yes, yeah. absolutely. You know, you're going to see anything out there from uh, super modified two wheel drive trucks that have those blown um, engines, you know, 1500 horsepower. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, more like 2500 horsepower, yeah. supercharged, 575 cubic <laughs> engines. Great and stuff. you also do, this is what yeah. you're really known for the Monster Jam. There's Batman, well, and well, uh, who's that with him? That's and, great well, that was Great Nigger, of yeah. course. Here's uh, again Taz coming over. This was his uh, winning the World Freestyle Championship on this run a couple years ago. But uh, again, that's one of the Leslie's with us. She's the only female live event Monster Jam announcer. That means you can pull that voice down and get on those big stadium speakers. Eh? That's right. You got to be, who's ready for Monster Jam? See, you know, you I can't do it as well as Scott, but I sure do try. <laughs> now, and you also do work with Lucas Oil. Okay, we're going to put you on the spot here. She knows the product. Synthetic. Be careful This here. came out a few years ago. Lucas Oil, it is made in America, sold in the world. Right. Why is this good? You've got some 530 synthetic here. It's a great product. You know, synthetic oil always going to give you lower um, oil engine temperatures as far as that's concerned. Great viscosity in there as well and it's a lot of time between oil changes Take here. Take this one, heavy duty oil stabilizer. Okay, this is a great product because it's going to um, make your engine last a lot longer. Here's another thing, it's going to lower engine temperatures. Okay. Great for your The Lucas well. Oil hat, what's this going to do? <laughs> That's right. Hey, only winners get to wear these hats, That's right? That's true, they only go out to Victory Lane. That's Leslie right. Mears is a winner. Good having her with us on the Lucas Oil Online Race Report. He's Scott Douglas, our racing expert. I'm Craig Hoffman. Enjoy the racing, everybody.